Time also here at six o'clock. Metro officer Shea Michelonis is recovering from a successful surgery at UMC Hospital. The officer was shot during a protest outside of Circus Circus on Monday night. The Las Vegas Police Association says his blood pressure is improving and he is a fighter. Fellow officers, public officials, and community members here have all stopped by to show their support. Michelonis has been on the force for four years. And the man accused of shooting that officer appeared in court this morning. The I team's Vanessa Murphy was there as he faced a judge for the first time. She also sat down with District Attorney Steve Wolfson. Edgar Samaniego remains in jail after a judge set no bail. He faces attempted murder and other charges after police say he shot a Metro officer Monday night at a Black Lives Matter protest. Are you Mr. Samaniego? Yeah. Prosecutors say Edgar Samaniego opened fire while Officer Shea Michelonis was taking another protester into custody at the demonstration on Las Vegas Boulevard. Not only the officers are at risk, but all the other individuals who are out there peacefully protesting, they're at risk, and they've been at risk. Clark County District Attorney Steve Wolfson sat down with the I team to discuss the case. He points to video and eyewitnesses. A shot rang out, striking this officer in the face. He immediately fell to the ground. Other officers and people went to his aid. Officer Michelonis is now fighting for his life. Judge Bonaventure calling the charge against Samaniego as serious as it can get. And it turns out at the time of the shooting, he was out on bond for a DUI and drug charge from an arrest in April. We think he's a risk to the community. He's a risk to not follow the court's orders because he hasn't in the other case. Samaniego is scheduled to be back in court Friday. Reporting from the Regional Justice Center, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. And Vanessa did try to connect with Sam and Diego's mom. She declined to comment. A public defender representing him today says he is not officially appointed at this time, but that everyone is praying for Officer Michelonis.